welcome back to my channel. It's Cerise here, and today's video I have another dollar store item. This is the e.l.f. Perfect Blend Eyeshadow Little Mini Palette. Now this is called the Best Friend Eyeshadow Duo. Now it is two colours. That's why I haven't done my eyes. So I'm excited to kind of try two colours of eyeshadow and just kind of see if I vibe with it. Normally I'm like at least four colours or something as my eyeshadow, so we're going to be going basic today. So I think for the price point, for the amount of product you get, it's definitely a really freaking good deal for a dollar. Like, how can you literally go wrong? On the e.l.f. website, I think it's a couple of bucks, though. Um, but you get 0.11 ounces. Um, it's really cute. Portable. If you get the other colors, you'll be able to get, like, a whole set. And then you could probably spend, like, 10 bucks and get, like, a whole freaking giant eyeshadow palette. So it's definitely a good quality, like, a good value for money. We'll see if it's a good quality for money. But for a dollar, like, you know, what kind of quality do you need, really? So this is the Peach Squad one. So this is what it looks like here. The packaging I like because you can actually see where everything is. It's a nice, easy to read, you can hang it up. It says complimentary matte and shimmer powder eyeshadow duos that are perfect for everyday use. Directions. With an eyeshadow brush, apply the lightest eyeshadow all over the lid as a base to brighten. Next, apply the darker tone shade on the outer half of the eyelid into the crease to sculpt. Blend out any harsh lines. So pretty much what you're going to do is use the pink as all over your lid and all up here. I guess we can put it under here. It didn't say to put under here, but we can be spicy. Um, and then use the brown to sculpt and everything. So let's see how peachy keen we can get today. So let's open this up and have a wee look as well. Now I'm just going to straight to the package. Also, my lovely friend Ellie got this for me. Thanks, Ellie. Yay! Decided to actually try it. Oh, she's super cute now. Okay, I thought it was a bit bigger. That's teeny tiny. I love that. For convenience, you could even freaking pit fit that in your pocket like look at look how cute so it does feel really really cheap like the actual material but I mean it was really really cheap so you can't really go wrong so let's see the shadows here I think the shadows are really cute I think it's really nice um if anything you could actually use this as a blush and a highlighter as well as a little duo uh let's see what this color looks like here oh I love that color that is a freaking stunning color. I love that. Okay, let's see this goldy color. Oh, okay, she's a little bit light. A little bit light. Let's see if we can kind of build her up. You've got to remember the pigments on your fingers are different to getting it on an actual brush as well. There's the color there, but I can see how it can be used as a sculptor. It's not as, like, glittery and shiny as it looks like it would be. But we'll see. I'm just going to rub that off my arms. I don't rub it all over myself. But I really love that peach color. Also, I tried to rub it off and it's not coming off. So, but she's got staying power. So, I think what we should do is, if I just bring you a bit closer, that's get to doing, putting this on and seeing if it is worth the dollar or couple of dollars that you paid for. So, come, come here. So, because there's literally not many colors, this is going to be really quick. So, I'm just going to go on with that peachy shade. It's the only shade we can kind of go on. Oh, Jesus. It's actually really soft on the eye. It's a... Oh, my God. I love this. Okay, it's worth the dollar. It's worth the dollar. Oh, I love that. That is blending so nicely. Now, I don't have anything on there except a little bit of, like, maybe foundation residue. But that is holding up pigment. Like, there is no tomorrow. It's, like, a light, breezy color. Damn, son. Oh, I love that. I love that color. That's really cute. Okay, let's, let's do the other side here. Okay. Probably would have applied better with a primer because it's just a little bit patchy where I obviously haven't rubbed all the foundation in. But let's see. Oh, bitch, I'm loving this peach. It's so simple, but it looks like looks so pretty. All right, I'm just gonna get a smaller brush just so I can go under my eye because I feel like I'll look like a bald bean if I don't go under the eye. So let's get that peachy color again. Alright, so now we've put that peachy colour under there. I am also obsessed with this peachy colour too, so not that mad at it at all. Um, I'm just going to get a kind of blendery brush. I'm going to get that brown shade now. I was about to show you, but bitch, there's only two shades, so let's see. So it says to start on your outer and then kind of blend it in. So if we just kind of go here, try and cut out some kind of crease sort of vibes. 
and see. I mean, you could always use another eyeshadow palette. I like this little... It's not even a quad, because it's so tiny. But I'm like, I love it just for this peach colour. I don't know if it's actually doing... Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's giving it a subtle kind of... I guess it's very, very, a very subtle situation that we've got going on here. Get on my freaking eye. Do I have to apply this with my finger? Like, to... It's like... I mean, I didn't have much promise for this when it swatched on my hand. But, okay, that's actually helping a little bit. Okay, see, we've got a little bit of kind of gold in there. Alright, let's try the other side. So, this side doesn't really want to pick up on a brush, this colour. But that's okay. I mean, it's definitely done something, if you look at it. Like, it's definitely done something. I just maybe need more on my brush. Now I've got to put it on with my finger as well, because that's what I did before. I like how simple this is, but yeah, it looks super cute. Like, for me, I would love if that gold was a little bit more, um, like, glittery. But I totally have no issue with that peach colour. That is really pretty. I'm just going to put on mascara and eyeliner and be right back. But that is the basics of it there. I think it looks super gorgeous. And I'm like, it's the right amount for me, I feel. I like that. Alrighty, so what do I think of the eyeshadow duo, Best Friend duo by e.l.f.? I think for the price point, it's definitely worth it. Um, the brown didn't blend as nicely as I thought it would be, but legitimately for the price, it doesn't even matter. Like, it has gone on so nicely. The pink's gone on nicely. It's going to last you a good wee while as well, and it's really nice, cute, and affordable. And it's like, you could fit that in your pocket. You could fit that in your bra. Like, I could go out now and just have my eyeshadow and be like, in the club, like... <laughs> Just gonna, just gonna freaking, can't even open it, so drunk, oh my god, just reapply me. Like, you know. But I feel like it would be a good blush as well, a blush substitute. And for the price point, I honestly think it's a really super good deal. So, if you guys have not tried these, you should get on that, especially for the price point and for the colours. The peach one is amazing, I'm obsessed. Really nice, basic kind of colour. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the e.l.f. Best Friend duo thing. Thanks, Ali. Obsessed. The things you see me, I am obsessed with. So, yeah. Thank you so much. And until next time, I love all you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.